my fellow lads, today Saints Kenzie Retro here back once again. It's reaction day, yeah. I'm recording this on the Tuesday night. Uh, but anyway, here we go. Top 10 Kingdom Hearts boss battles in honor of Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out today. And. And. There it is. In here is a yo yo. Game exclusive. And this is the main event. Will I be doing a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 3? Absolutely. I've just got to get through the rest of the series first. Plus complete my playthrough of Spider-Man. Don't worry, I'll make sure Spider-Man comes back at some point this week. But anyway. <clears throat> anyway, enough to chat about that. Um, Kingdom Hearts boss battles. Uh, in order of Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out today. Here we go. These bosses were some of the best bits in Kingdom Hearts. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Kingdom Hearts boss battles. Fire! Fire! Who would have known that a video game based on a James Bond film would have such a huge impact on first person shooters to this day? If you want to know more, then make sure to check out our countdown of the top 50 most influential video games of all time on our gaming channel, Mojo Plays. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the best boss battles we've endured across the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Sorry, but my contract says... I know! You think I don't know? I wrote the contract! <laughs> Number 10, Oogie Boogie, Kingdom Hearts. Well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> One of the most awesome parts of the Kingdom Hearts games is being able to face off against some of our favorite Disney villains. For <laughs> Nightmare Before Christmas fans, the fight against Oogie Boogie was a real treat with its own tricks. Jack, but they said you were dead. You must be double dead. Oh boy. Much like Jack's confrontation with Oogie in the film, the environment is creepy and vibrant, and Oogie's board demands you be aware of your positioning. However, the best part of this fight is in the second stage when Oogie becomes a giant manor and you have to climb him a la Shadow of the Colossus. Well, minus the annoying stamina meter. Yep, sounds about accurate. <clears throat> Number 9, Maleficent, Kingdom Hearts. This is it. This power. <laughs> Darkness. The true God! In her regular form, Maleficent isn't much of a challenge so long as you're keeping a good eye on everyone's health bars. Of course, the real show comes later on. When she turns into her dragon form, Maleficent she turns into a lot of damage in just a few hits. This is a fight that demands you be on your toes and think quickly. It may not be the same exact fight as the one we saw in Sleeping Beauty, but like its source material, it manages to replicate the epic scale and thrilling experience. Number 8, Phantom, Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. One of the coolest bits of the first Kingdom Hearts was revisiting areas and discovering secret boss fights. The fight against the mysterious Phantom has resonated with fans for just how crazy it can get. There's a lot of telegraphing to process, and Phantom's unpredictable patterns can make it hard to read or predict what he's about to do. This was one of those fights where you couldn't just go in fully equipped, you needed to have a general plan, a backup plan, a backup plan to that backup plan, and so on. <laughs> backup In plan other words, A, backup plan B, backup plan C, patience. all the way to backup plan Z. And if those don't work, then just go with the flow. Number 7, Terra Xehanort, Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. This was a difficult boss for me to get through. Am I? This was a tough boss to get through. Such a terrible uh, darkness. There are many dramatic and tear-jerking moments in the Kingdom Hearts series, some of them being the boss fights themselves. The first moment that comes to mind is when Aqua faces off against a possessed Terra. In addition to the tragedy behind this battle, Terra Xehanort will prove to be a formidable foe thanks to his attack power and range. Terra, I know you're in there! I will admit the music is really good though. Get caught in one of his combos and he'll make quick work of your health bar. Hopefully you'll have mastered all of Aqua's moves and perfected your cartwheeling by this point. Number six, Dark Riku, Kingdom Hearts. Ooh. You, you're not Riku. Oh, the keyhole cannot be completed. 
So wow. Was the last princess of heart still sleeps. This one was painful in more ways than one. It always hurts to see friends fight, and this is yep. especially true during no the fight against that. Riku. Sora! Heads up! Sora and Riku have been friends for a long time, and you can tell Sora cares deeply about his best friend, which makes this fight the most emotional on this list. It's also one of the hardest boss battles we've endured. Riku's attacks hit hard and can cover most of the area. On top of that, the small area doesn't give you much room to dodge, so you'll have to stay nimble and attack when the fight slows down a bit. Now I'm in the process of going through the first Kingdom Hearts game right now, so I'll definitely take this into the gym. Number five, Cloud Strife, Kingdom Hearts. Mm, I didn't last much. I didn't last very long. It's so nice to see our spiky-haired eco terrorist make an appearance. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we're sad to say that he doesn't pull off any of his moves from Final Fantasy VII. No Omni Slash here. I tried Aww. to exploit the power of darkness, but it backfired. However, that doesn't mean he's a pushover. Cloud is a speedy fighter, and if you aren't quick on dodging, you're going to have a bad time. Our battle with Cloud may not have been as long as the other boss fights on this list, but it was still thrilling to see him make an appearance in Kingdom Hearts. Number 4, Axel, Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh boy. You really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered. Part of what makes Axel such a memorable character is his wild personality oh, it's and his voice. So, what better way to match his extreme behavior than fighting him inside a ring of fire? Not only does this fight give quite the visual spectacle, but it's also a dramatic one. Like Sora and Riku, this is a battle between former friends, and the music captures Axel's frustration and sorrow. <laughs> The piece de resistance here, however, is that we get to wield two Keyblades. That's right, Axel, and we're ready to bring the smackdown on you. Let's oh yeah! Again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Number three, uh -huh. Sephiroth. Kingdom Hearts and Kingdom Hearts 2. Sing it with me, kids! Estas y teris ira vehementi, estas y teris ira vehementi, Sephiroth! This one was a little less surprising. Hey, if Cloud Strafe is moping around, our one-winged angel is lurking close by. But come on! Oh yes! That was awesome! Nevertheless, this was still an awesome encounter. Sephiroth is one of the most difficult bosses in the Final Fantasy series, and he doesn't pull any punches in Kingdom Hearts. In the first game, he has 5 health bars. Okay. In Kingdom Hearts 2, he has 15. EXCUSE ME?! <laughs> <laughs> um, good luck, folks. You're gonna need it. In addition to his insane reach, thanks to that overcompensating sword of his, almost yep. all oh, attacks can end you in just a couple of hits. Good to see our lethal pretty boy hasn't gotten rusty. Cloud, you can have my light. The light doesn't suit you. Number two, really? lingering will. Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh boy. Were all of these bosses too easy for you? I just you got created chills. a real challenge, something that will kick your teeth in or make you throw a controller? Mm. Then get a load of Lingering Will. Oh this boy. guy is notorious for being the absolute hardest boss in the franchise. With a whopping 17 health bars, Lingering Will can take you out with the greatest of ease. I'm definitely not I am definitely not playing on proud difficulty. He can quickly trap you in a combo, leaving you with only a fraction of health. This is a tussle that will demand your undivided attention and top performance. Good luck surviving the whole 20 minutes. Oh boy. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Ah, Chernabog! What would be cool is if they actually have the Night on Bold Mountain music. Number one, Zemnaz, Kingdom Hearts 2. We who were turned away by both light and dark, never given a choice. 
Typically, we don't like it when a boss battle drags on, but when we're going up against Zemnas, this fight was one of the most awesome experiences in the Kingdom Hearts series. Very good. You don't miss a thing. In the first phase of the battle, we get to see Keyblades and lightsabers clash. Then there's a brief sequence where you chase after Zemnas while slicing through freaking buildings. Just oh when boy. we think it's all over, you gotta fight him again while he rides on a giant dragon like nobody. This was one of the most satisfying and epic boss battles in gaming, and we'd happily do it again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Very interesting list there. <clears throat> I mean, I think it's safe to say they went for... Um... I think they went for the most difficult ones there, no doubt. I mean, that... <sighs> Number two entrance especially? My goodness me. Uh, some of the bosses I've been through, I mean, so like I say, I've... I mean, the only one that I've... I mean, Cloud Strife, I mean, playing on proud difficulty. Uh, yeah, I didn't last long with that one. Uh, but then, oh boy, Terra Xehanort. Uh, yeah, that was a tough one. That was tough. But like I said, the music in that one was really good. Well, like I said, I'll be going through uh, King of Hearts 3 when I get around to it. And then, um, stay tuned there. Uh, as, stay tuned uh, in the build up. As I'm going to have a giveaway. Regarding something Kingdom Hearts related. So. That mind. Hope you enjoyed this week. As always. Hit the thumbs up. And you'll be baptized into following this channel. Hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter day series notification squad. So you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Follow me on Twitter. At Kenzie Retro. Support me on Patreon if you want to as well. Patreon.com slash Kenzie Retro. And you'll get early access to my podcast. Previous video on the left. Playlist on the right. The Rollback Thursdays is back. Tomorrow, until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out and stay faithful as always.